Good day fine people, I hope you are well. My name is Nick on ZX Spectrum 48k and this is a homebrew called Speku Man uh, published by Art Top in 2022. It's a maze game and yes it's a derivation. Derivation? That don't make sense. It's based on Pac-Man, the arcade game from Namco in 1980. Quite a lot of Pac-Man games. We've reviewed recently an unfinished uh, homebrew called Mus Nam Pack of Miss Pac-Man on 128k in the same year by Jarlax. So let's, let's see how this one con uh, compares. It's got good music on the thing. Um, right, so they changed the name of the ghost by, by the looks of things. Shadow is Blinky, Speedy is Pinky, uh, Bashful is Inky, and uh, Pokey is Clyde, which only gets released after a certain number of stages, I think. Now, like, like all these conversions of Pac-Man, I'm more interested to see, well, the sound first of all, but how often, or oh, like the sound of that, uh, how often the maze changes or changes colour. Oh, it sure moves quite uh, well. Uh, feels like a Pac-Man straight away. Power pills are white. I would have preferred them to be yellow, but let's not worry about that. Okay, so a nice display on the right-hand side of the bottom is how many lives we've got left. That seems quite generous. And I bumped into a ghost already, and I'm uh, dead. So stage one. Don't know how many stages there are. So please, 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 may the maze change after a couple of stages and it changes colours like Pac- well, like Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man used to do. Lots and lots and lots of Pac-Man games back in the day. Um, the original uh, Pac-Man uh, was converted by Atari Soft in 1984. That was a pretty good conversion, that and Mr. Pac-Man. Uh, this is much, much better than that, but they're using different compilers and different knowledge because it would come out a whole lot later. Now, this had come out back in the day, it would have been a huge hit straight away. Right, I think I'm doing it. I'm being methodical here. The ghost seems to be about the same speed as you. There's one called Speedy, but he seems to be about the same speed as you anyway. Right, keep going, keep going. That's good advice, though. Always. So uh, let's see how far I get on this uh, one. Try not to use up all my power pills straight away. Two lives left. I do like that ready thing that comes up too. So periodically, you know about this about Pac-Man. There'll be some fruit or something to collect in the middle. Hasn't released all the ghosts straight away. So it's like starting off fairly easy. There's the walk gate there from one side to the other. And that's stage one done. Hooray for me. Right, I'd, I'd imagine it's going to stay the same colour. It may stay the same for stage two. Now, it's where it gets to stage three, we want to see some action. Please go magenta or yellow or red or something. Okay, right now. Three ghosts are released. All four ghosts are out the hatch. We've got the full bifter. Clyde is zipping around. Stage two. Looks like it's got, is it getting gradually quicker? It might be, might be my imagination. So, overall then, first impressions. Uh, good sound, good movement. I did like Nampak, that did the wacka 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 sound, which was cool, but that, as I say, that wasn't finished off, so check out that one, this Nampak. Uh, this one is probably, yeah, you have to say, probably the best Pac-Man conversion then I, I've, I've seen so far. Good old homebrew scene. Uh, if you're liking your ZX Spectrum stuff, we've got a whole um, playlist, over a thousand games in there. Coming up to about 1,050 at time of uh, at time of um, recording. Um, to get there, you click, oh, you're having trouble there. To got surrounded, game over. To get there, click on my username, that takes you to the channel page, then click on playlists, and ZX Spectrum will be there, along with a number of other stuff. It's good that you can control the, to find the keys here, which I'm using. Uh, we can use joystick as well, if you've got that available. Right, Art Top. Good stuff for them. I don't know what else Art Top done. I think there might be one other game. Maybe I look at that at some point in the future. Right, okay, it's my proper go now. Here we go. I think next up we're going to be cherries in the middle. Go, go, go. You've probably got a strategy with Pac Man, but we reviewed so, so many different Pac Man games over the years on the channel, and, and I'd imagine they'll keep being uh, produced. I imagine there's lots of retro ones I still haven't found yet. Uh, you know, there's, there's lots of derivatives. There's even Mousetrap on the Atari 2600, which was an arcade game as well, uh, influenced by that, so it was one of the uh, early ones. Uh, the original Pac Man on the Atari 2600 was awful. Um, there was quite a, a lazy fault, but they seem to have fixed that with Moose Pac Man, uh, which come a little bit later on. Right now, Nick, don't choke to death. It's a commentator's nightmare when you get a tickly throat or something. Right, stage one. Try and hold on to all your lives. Um, one, one problem with this is. When, they, when you get the power pill, the ghost goes sort of like cyan colour, but one of the ghosts is already cyan, so in the thick of things, in the heart of the action, you might bump into him in error. Anyway, don't worry about that. Uh, good animation on the Pac-Man, mouth opening and closing. Some Pac-Man clones, it didn't move at all. Uh, when you go up and down, he changes direction in the graphic too, which some conversions didn't have that either. It's a good size uh, there. Pac-Man's like, you see, one graphic, 8x8 eight eight there. So not too big. 
Uh, collision detection seems to be okay as well. It, all round, it's a winner. If you want to download it, I download it for free uh, from a site called Spectrum Computing. I don't know why I keep giving them a shout out. They never give me a shout out, but why would they? Anyway, whoa, what's that done? Through here. Good. So, chomping up all these uh, power pills uh, for fun or whatever. Um, Pac Man started in 1980, if he kept eating like this all the way through, he'd probably be dead by now, or too fat to go down these thin tunnels and be absolutely stuck. But anyway, there's a strawberry there, but we, we, we're not into health here. Uh, let's just ignore that and just eat these powerful. Oh dear, right right into the magenta doom, doom man. Got a few magenta ghosts in, in the Futu's games uh, going around there, so check out his homebrew as well, we've got quite a few of those. Uh, I think the majority of them come out in 2021 and 2022. Right, stage two done. Right, please change colour, mate. It's the same colour. Frustrating. So yeah, so like a lot of these Pac-Man games, then. Uh, did the original Pac-Man change colour? Um, there are no Miss Pac-Man did. So this looks like the same maze every time. Maybe getting fractionally quicker. Oh, it's close. Getting fractionally quicker each time. So it looks like we're going to keep getting this maze over and over again. It's just how long can you survive? Don't know how many stages there are. If you've played this game and quite proficient to it, and you have got to a stage where it does change colours, then let me know in the comment section below whether it's stage 10 or stage 20, because I, I want to see a little bit, a little bit of uh, uh, progress. But it's sure moving fast now. It is quite addictive, to be fair. So if you, if you want a, a good quick Pac-Man game, this is the one. Like I say, in all these sort of like Pac-Man sort of like clone games, my favourite game. Pac-Man wise is Pac-Mania on the Commodore Amiga, that's where it went all 3D, that's why Grand Slam Productions there, uh, went all 3D, uh, and it's got some great music in it, including the jungly steps, hmm, and it's a good, good backing music as well, you know, that's a great rendition by me, as we've got to say it's for, and it's the same colour maze again, never mind. Never mind, it's, it's classic action, we're in the arcade, it's 1980, wacka 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 wacka, yes, anyway, I think back in the day I collected uh, Pac-Man stickers, they were quite good fun, and I made my own um, albums out of cardboard, yes, it's sim simple times, I don't think kids do that anymore, whether you laughed out the playground, but yeah, out of cardboard, I used to draw on the front some sort of like a maze and put my stickers inside and make up some sort of story uh, based on Pac-Man using the stickers that I had. Kids imagination, eh? I think a lot of this was derived out of boredom, uh, especially with the, the stickers and the magazines and the stories and stuff. Do kids still write stories? Or they just play on a game on their phone instead? I don't know. I used to be a big writer of stories. Ding, 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 diddly ding. Right, four ghosts, green. There's no, sl no slowdown here. Uh, most impressive game with no slowdown, is, well, classic games back in the day, is Horace and the Spiders. You're going around a maze at the end uh, with eight spiders chasing you. And it was on 16K that, and I still can't work out how they managed to do it. And there's a lot of frames of animation in that as well. Horace and the Spiders for the win. Most impressive 16K game. Doom, 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 diddly doom. Right, away we go. Stage one looks a bit like stage. Two. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's slightly slower in it. Slightly slower it starts off. So, so that's that's the only um, that's the only challenge really. Collect all the pills. Don't get killed by the ghosts. Uh, gradually getting quicker, stage by stage, but marginally, uh, not for a huge degree. So that's the challenge, then, isn't it? Seeing how far you can get before all your life run up, run out. And it, it, it is uh, remembering the high score each time. Uh, you can probably get a high score by chomping ghosts and um, collecting fruit. 200 there, I think we're getting up on it, it might be 400, will it? Yeah, 400, then 600, I think. But we, uh, so he's turned back, but he's still cyan, so I was almost in big trouble there. So I hope you saw the uh, the folly of that. Going slightly quicker than that gentle one, so I think if it gets to a stage where the ghosts are going quicker than you, I think you might be in big trouble. Right, so I've just got the uh, pills in the top right there. You can get quite close to this mob, they can be hovering over you, not dying, that's, that's good. It seems like there's a slight pixel overlap, so they need to be right on you. So it does give you a bit of a chance, and as the excitement gives you a bit of a few like close encounters. Biff. That's stage one. So long, stage one. All lives intact. This will be my last go. The game used to be about 10 minutes. Now, if you've watched this far into the video, and you're um, enjoying listening to this uh, retro nonsense gaff, then it might be a case that you like this sort of thing. Uh, if so, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing, because that helps the channel grow and helps me continue. Uh, it helps me continue, it does. Um, a big thank you to those people that have subscribed so far. You certainly are super cool, and not like those nincompoops from um, somewhere else. Hooray!
Ready, ready, get ready, as they say in Speedball 2. See, that's the game I always wanted on the spectrum. Um, uh, Speedball 2, see how that can work. Even the Speedball 1, I don't think, don't think it's ever been attempted or ever been done, my knowledge. Uh, come out on the Commodore 64. Yeah, it's, always gonna, it's always a bit of a challenge. Really. Football games, I, to my knowledge, you might disagree. To my knowledge, games on the spectrum are trying a lot of different players on the pitch. Football games in particular never seem to work. Um, match day seemed to be the most popular one, but to me that was so, so slow. You can speed it up now through um, um, emulation there. There was a, an attempt at kickoff too, but were well, great fun for me. A few Gary Lineker ones. Right, as we go, Gary Lineker doesn't feature in this game though. There's no Pac-Man game influenced by Gary Lineker, as far as I'm aware. Right, stage three, three lives left. Just keep chomping, and you'll be there. We'll be coming round the mountain when we come to right, All cyan, one of them will stay cyan. There we go. Oh, that was close. Biff. You might want to go around chomping all the ghosts. Oh, look at that. See, that was unlucky. He was on the verge of changing back there. Will we get the highest score before this is out? Well, I don't know. We got to stage four last time, didn't we? It's t just like it's ten points for each pill you get. Maybe s no, uh, maybe slightly more for the power pill, perhaps. I can get that. There we go. Right. Okay. So take a look at that high score. Might be able to get that. We've got two lives left. Oh, cool, that was quite very brave, and I missed one there. I think that's going to be it, isn't it? Biff. 8,300. Stage 4. That's as far, far as I got before. And they, they're going sillyly fast now. All ghosts released straight away on the stage. Come on, come on, Mr. Batman. He's yellow. Mellow yellow. Ooh, that's the thing now. We, get, oh dear, we might not get the high score. 8,920. Last life left. This is your last life. Available for voiceover work, always. Come on, high score. Percy points away. There we go. We've done it. We've ended up on a. We've ended on a high. Hooray for us! Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed playing this game. The time has gone fairly, fairly quick. Didn't expect it to go on quite this long. But anyway, for what is essentially just Pac-Man, which everyone has heard of before. But it's good to see new versions, especially when they've done that like this. But you, you know what I think about this game, don't you? Really. Um, Plays well, sound is good, don't know where that extra life come from, but the maze hasn't changed colours. But I can't remember if the original Pac-Man changed colours anyway, or Atari Soft's one uh, did, so I'm always wanting a bit more from these. But as, as a game itself, as a conversion, yeah, it's brilliant, really. Um, can't really go wrong, and it's game over, game over again. Uh, game over, dude. It's got some good music um, here and there, presentation is pretty nifty too. So overall, I love the thing. So I hope you like to have a look at that game, that homebrew, that was Speku Man, published by Art Top in 2022, based of course on the original arcade cabinet from Nanko in 1980. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then by all means put that in the comment section below, or anything homebrew there, or Pac-Man related. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.